And now, your local weather authority forecast. Story in many parts of the basin this morning. This is a live look at Odessa across I-20. You see the city lights, but you can't see the buildings. Very low visibility. Please exercise caution on the roadways. If you guys are going to be traveling like these cars are, the drivers within these cars, please exercise caution on the roadways. Please travel earlier compared to what you normally do. Very misty, a bit chilly out there. Dense fog advisory in effect till 9 a.m. Central Time. This does include Ector, Midland Counties to Big Lake, along I-20 toward Big Spring. Again, dense fog advisory in effect till 9 a.m. Central Time. Dense fog meaning zero visibility. That's what we're seeing right now for many areas. 0.4 mile visibility from Midland Odessa to Big Spring. These darker gray shings indicate that. The farther north you go, better visibility. The farther south you go. Still pretty bad visibility and also a little bit more humid and even warmer in places like Terrell County. Officially sitting at right around 46, 47 in around the Midland and Odessa area. We can't really even see the cloud deck this morning because it's so close to the ground, the fog. But higher level clouds in parts of the Trans-Pecos indicating our next weather pattern change in the form of an upper level low spinning near California about to make landfall with rain and wet snow in the mountains about to make landfall again in Southern California and Arizona. Eventually this storm will make its way into western parts of Texas late tonight into tomorrow. But for now we'll have to deal with the fog 47 officially at the airport in Midland just like Odessa, very bad visibility in Midland 0.4 mile visibility south southwesterly winds at nine miles per hour really starting to bring back that humidity from the south and bring back also the warmer air. And we do notice the farther south we go, the warmer conditions are with the fog. 55 in Terrell County, 51 in Big Spring, now climbing to 48 in Midland. So within the past 15 to 20 minutes, we've gone from 45 to 46 to now 47, 48. Cooler and drier in places like Snyder, 46. The cool spot in the basin, Martha drier 35 degrees right now eventually warming up in the high 50s 60s low 70s right around 67 today in midland and odessa low 70s and parts of our viewing area average high 58 average low 33 low temperature 45 high temperature 67 degrees clouds return overnight not only clouds but some fog temperatures in the 50s south south usually winds rising from 5 to 15 miles per hour just before we see our next weather pattern change. Fog lifting this morning, giving way to ample sunshine, then clouds and rain start to develop late tonight, tomorrow morning, and not only rain, thunderstorms as we head toward tomorrow afternoon. Just in time for Christmas weekend, we'll see the rain give way to sunnier skies. Christmas Eve, Santa's coming to town. We'll see lower temperatures and clearer skies. Southern winds transition more from the west. That will lead to drier air. So from fog to sunshine today, from showers to slightly clearer skies late tomorrow night into Christmas Eve morning, and then Christmas Eve night into Christmas Day. We'll see near freezing temperatures. High temperature Christmas Day. 52 degrees, clear skies and higher temperatures later next week.